Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, as you can tell, I do have a little bit of makeup on, not a whole lot. I did like a super simple mask plan today because I did go to work, you know, work in class. But anyways, I figured I would do a get unready with me tonight. So like I said, it's like um, 9 o'clock at night. Got my glass of wine, done read my Bible verse. So I figured now would be the perfect time to go ahead and take everything off, unwind, and get ready for tomorrow. So um, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all your criticism, especially the nice criticism. I really appreciate it. You know, we're all learning. We're all growing together and I just love to be able to grow with you guys um so thank you for that and um thank you for all your love your comments your support it means the world to me guys seriously um so um yeah let's dive into this video okay guys so I'm getting ready to take my lashes off and I just want to show you guys how beautiful these lashes are like I'm obsessed with them these are the kiss um they're just called the wisp lashes I do believe um I love them. They're pretty much, I like to call them, you know, lash extensions from home. Because that's exactly what they remind me of. Oh, man. But what I like to do, and it does look a little junked up and stuff, so I'll take some micellar water to it. And I'll clean them up because, I mean, yeah, some lashes are expensive, some lashes are cheap, but I like to make sure I can get them to last as long as I can because I mean with the mascara junked up because I do put mascara after I apply them to kind of blend the falsies and my regular original lashes so I mean I like to take some micellar water just a little bit on a little cotton pad just to kind of clean them up but yeah so I'll set this to the side yeah I know this looks a little harsh but it's just from where um it's just from where I put the lash glue on my um, lid, and plus sometimes I feel like I grab my actual, <laughs> my actual natural freaking lashes. Like, see how sparse those are? In reality, I probably pulled some off. That was probably all me. But you know, nobody's perfect, guys. Okay, so first things first, I'm almost running out. This is like my ride or die right here. This is um, the pharmacy, their uh, clean, their cleansing balm. But I mean, any cleansing balm will do. I just do it on my brows or if I have a lip stain on. Those are really the only two things I use it for. I just kind of work this in and just kind of help it. All I have, I actually haven't been using pomade here lately. I've just been using a pen because it gives me more of a natural brow, which I've been loving been trying to achieve that for quite some time and I finally gotten it together thank the lord all right so we're going to go ahead and wash that off all right so I don't have to be perfect I just wiped off most of it just to help my cleanser out and speaking of cleansers I've been sitting on a new cleanser for like a hot minute for like probably close to a month like put this in my Ulta haul like you guys have been hearing me talk about it um I've never heard of this before but the color really caught my eye um, this is the Florence by Mills. They have like everything, like concealer, foundation, the whole nine. But you get um, a Get That Grime face scrub, which is pretty freaking awesome. And then a Magic Micellar Cleansing Gel. Okay, so this one just says massage all of your, oh, this one is the micellar water, or the micellar gel, I guess. Um, it says massage all over your face, wipe off with a cotton pad, or rinse. Which I probably just wipe off with a cotton pad because I hate rinse on my face. It gets everywhere. So, information on this. It says, when you're too tired to get ready for bed. Ooh, that's what I call my name. This magic micellar gel takes off our makeup fast. Tiny dirt grabbing mice, my cells vacuum up makeup and yucky impurities so we can easily wipe them off. No water, no worries. Wow. A lot of big claims there and then let's see this one. Oh, and by the way this is dermatologist tested for all skin types cruelty and vegan free they keep it clean um, and they support young life to the fullest wow look at you guys go okay now this one it says we want to get that grime but no micro beads please this eco-friendly face scrub gently buffs away 
any dead skin, pore clogging nasties, that was their term, not mine, with sustainable ivory palm seed powder nourishing with vitamin E. Wow, okay, so this gently massage and massage a small amount of scrub onto wet skin. Use two to three times a week to stay grime free. Okay, so we're gonna use both. I'm gonna use this one first to kind of get all my makeup off, which all I have is like eyeshadow and stuff. Like, cause when I do a mask glam, if you guys haven't watched that video, check it out. It's on my channel, but I just do my brows and I do um, just eyeshadow look and lashes and that's it because obviously everything else is covered up and that way I'm not constantly worried about, you know, is it my mask smearing off my foundation, blah, blah, blah. And plus I'm already sweating anyway, so it's just easier for me. Oh wow, this has a scent. I didn't even notice it. Cucumber. Wow. Okay, yeah. Let's dive on in. So we're gonna go in with this, and this says go with a wet skin. I see the packaging. I love packaging. Oh yeah, that's cute. And I love purple. It's like my favorite color. If anyone wants to know, that's what it is. Sorry guys, wine break. Okay. We're gonna go with this. We're just gonna kind of test it out. It looks freaking cute. And I don't have any of my freaking makeup remover pads. They're all in the wash. I feel like you really can't have enough of them darn things. Darn things. I'm really trying to curve my mouth, guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna kind of wet our face, especially my eyes, because that's where I have the most makeup. That's it all, you see all that? Oh yeah, okay. So now, we're gonna go with some of this. I wonder if it smells like, I don't really smell like cucumber, but I mean, oh, actually, it's got a freaking tab on it. Guys, no wonder why it smells like cucumber. I'm seriously, I may be brown headed, but I'm a blonde for the world. Now, I still don't really smell a cucumber, and I really should should have smelled it that time, because you know that was off. Girl, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't smell it, but it is thin, which is nice. It's not too thick. Oh, actually, it's really thin. Okay, so we're just gonna go rub this. We're gonna try to get it out of my eyes, especially around like my. Because that lash glue really gets in my eye. Okay, this is burning a little bit. So this for all skin types though, so we will see. It says no water needed, so we're just going to take this little towel I got, which I mean ain't really the best. It's just a dish towel that I got, but it was the softest one I had. Usually, yeah. You guys do that watch my um get unready actually this is my first get unready with me but my skincare videos and stuff i always use my makeup remover towels but late notice i realized that i didn't have one so we're just gonna kind of it doesn't feel bad it did have like an initial burn at first, but I feel like all my skincare products does. When I did the Kylie skin video, the first time I used it, it burnt. And then after that, it never burned again. Don't know what that was about. But I mean, for the most part, it brought stuff off. I still have eyeliner down there. So we're gonna try that other product. But I'll tell you what, it pulled a lot of that um, lash glue. Cause when I put my lash glue on top right here, I can't, you know, keep this closed enough to put my glue. Maybe if I held my finger down, you know what I'm saying? I can't get it from hitting my lashes. So my lashes have glue and mascara and they're just awful. So, I mean, it really did pull a lot of that up. So I'm kind of impressed by that. So I like this, especially for them easy, uh, the nights where you're just super exhausted. Oh my God, this one is a cucumber one. I was smelling the wrong fucking thing. See guys, this is my life, I'm telling you. It's bad. Okay, let's try this baby. So we're actually gonna get into this one. This is probably gonna blow me away with cucumber and I was smelling the wrong darn one. Oh yeah. 
Guys, SOS. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, so we're gonna get our face wet again. I wanna just kinda, just liberally, you know what I mean? I don't like to leave that water running too long because that noise is annoying. Okay, that's a nice green color. You guys see that? Mm, okay. Good vibe on this. Okay, so it says use this two to three times a week. So I'm just, oh, yeah, it's got beads in it. Hopefully it don't break me out. A burn. It's um, essence strong. Like, it takes your breath away strong. Okay. I don't like to bring it down here. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's like a sandpaper kind of thing, and, ooh, that's got a strong aroma, and that's not cucumber. Ooh. Okay, so, um, let's, um, I got my face scrub, I bet you that'll probably work good. It says, massage in the wet skin and circular motions, rinse thoroughly. So let's, I uh, use my little facial, I don't even know what to call this thing, I just call it, um, spin brush because that's just what I like to call it. And we're just gonna and this would be something to do really good to find a really good face scrub to do a couple times a week. You know? This is kind of irritate my skin a little bit with this uh, spin brush. Maybe if I turn it off. You can kind of can really get in there, but I feel like this these bristles on this is a little rougher, but I feel like it pulls up all the dirt on my skin. Like when I first used it, I was getting blemishes, but I think that's really a good thing because it's pulling up all that dirt to the surface and it's getting rid of it. You know what I mean? So I'm just getting this wet and just kind of around my skin. Okay. So, I mean, it's a little rough on my skin. My skin's kind of like hurting a little bit, but so I definitely won't be able to do this often. We're gonna get this towel wet so I can wipe this off. I definitely wouldn't leave it on long. I mean, it ain't like my skin's on fire or nothing. Like there's some exfoliators and scrubs and stuff that have just set me on fire. Like that exfoliate. Super bougie, super. I was super excited about it, but I could not, could not do it. Like it lit me on fire. I couldn't even leave it on my skin for a minute, and that is no exaggeration. Now my skin's probably gonna be red, and contributions go a little bit to this towel because it's not for your skin. You know what I mean? Just a little cheap. We have a dollar towel, but that's my fault. I should have made sure I had a towel ready for this video, but we improvise. I don't want you guys to be like, um, girl, you have got to have a face towel when you wash your face. What are you thinking? I'm like, well, I said in the video, guys, you know what I mean? So, a little heads up. So, yeah, okay. I'm not mad about the scrub, I just feel like you couldn't do it more than maybe one. I probably want to do it once a week, to be honest, because that was a little rough for me. Yeah, that was a little rough for me. But yeah, I do like these, especially that gel. Mm, I think that's gonna become my best friend. I'm not even playing. Yeah, I really do like those. Like seriously, thumbs up on that. All right, guys. So now that that um is all cleaned up, I will tell you that my skin is like super, super soft. So um yeah, I'm digging that. So for uh, toner, we're gonna go in with the antioxidant spray toner from Dr. Brand. At first I wasn't crazy about this. I feel like it doesn't fully get into your skin. But if you feel like that, you can also just kinda um, put it on a cotton round or a towel or something. Um, I just kinda let it dry and stuff cause I'll go in with other serums and moisturizers and moisturizers and it'll get in anyways i tried to bat it down with a cotton round it did not work like i got cotton stuck to my face i was like oh girl no okay so next oh next we're gonna go in with the physician formula this is their rose all day and night eye cream i use this in the morning and at night if i can remember it in the morning let's do a little bit it's like yeah i probably use too much on this eye yeah, like, I didn't need that. 
I didn't need that at all. I'm gonna drag it to my eyelid. Just like that. Yes, that's beautiful. Okay, so now let's talk serums. I'm almost out of this. I'm trying to finish it up. It is the Clean Skin Club. Yes, it's their vitamin C brightening booster with watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. And I love to keep this stuff in my skincare fridge, guys. Like cooler ingredients at the end of the day is my dream. For real. Okay, so we got that in there. I would just make sure you get everything off on that scrub if you buy it or use it because I do feel kind of like a little bit of some beads left over on my skin and I know that's from that scrub that's the only thing I don't like about scrubs like I feel like it takes forever for you know to get all them beads off of your face you know what I mean it's like with like when I do lip scrubs I'm constantly got little sugar pieces all over around my mouth yeah, like I can fill up my hairline and stuff. Ugh. But I feel like if I had my um, towel, my original towel, it might not have been so bad. But having to work with a different product than what you're used to kind of throws your game off a little bit. Just trying to make sure. Yeah, there's like little tiny beads on my face. I'm not a fan of that. That would be a thumbs down for that part of the video. Or that part of the product, anyways. Oh, I got some serum in there. So then, because my face feels kind of tight, we're going to go in with the Skin Mist. This is from Danielle Creations. It's their Vitamin C Brightening Facial Mist. This is for all skin types with vitamin C and magnesium in it. I really like this. I got this for like five bucks at Burlington. If you guys are interested I did that haul feel free to show that some love thank you for those who did but yeah this is super nice gives my skin that just you know like my skin has got a little slight tingle and I think it's from a scrub all right now before I go in with my moisturizer I'm going to use my lovely jade roller that's nice and cold and I just take this all over the skin and I think this is so relaxing. And it's so cold. So it feels literally like so nice. And I even take it over my eyelids. Like literally everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's so good. Like this come with a freaking rock. That you just massage and rub your serums in with. Drop it and break it. Telling you guys. Okay, so then we're going to go in with the Elf Super Hydrate. I was using the, um, was that green, the pharmacy one, the green one. But I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I do like the pharmacy one, don't get me wrong. But this one has been in my drawer for about a month. And I've only used it a few times. So I wanted to make sure, and I really like this product a lot. Like a little goes a long way. Excuse me, I was hit my voice box. A little goes a long way, and that's something I love about this product. Like, you don't need much at all to really get the job done, you know? And it's so creamy. I mean, it doesn't feel creamy right, right now because I literally have little tiny beads all over my face. Mm. I'm like trying to wipe them all off. Oh my gosh, guys. Some days I'm like, mm. I wrapped that up, guys. I do want to shout out. This is the little skin mask I've been using. It's a Saturday Skin Sleep Mask. Um, this is their Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask. It's got little pieces of orange peel and stuff in it. And it literally is like so smoothing. It like completes my entire skincare. Like, and my face is so soft. I'm a little torn about my um, 
my lip mask because I have tried the toothbrush thing and I feel like that's too rough. Then I bought this little little guy here from Ulta. You put your finger in here, you scrub it, but I feel like these bristles are too soft. So I've just been using my finger. I know that's not exactly the best way to do things, but that's kind of what I'm doing because I'm just kind of like too hard, too soft. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I do switch in between. I'll do like an actual lip sugar scrub like two to three times a week. And then in between those, I will do this lip polish. And then I'll top after I get done with these two. You know, either, either one I use, I will do a sleep mask every single night to try and help these little bad boys out. Especially because I use so... I think that's why my lips are so bad is because I use so... All I use is like um, matte liquid lipsticks. No glosses, nothing like that. Like if I don't have a color on, I'll use like a lip oil or something like that. But okay, so I used this one last last night. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with this. It's the from Seraphine Botanicals. It's their whimsical wisteria conditioning lip polish. So I'll just wet my lips like that. Pop it on there. And I like that because it's so easy. Like the sugar scrub, you gotta dip and you gotta. So that's just my nails, you know? So I wipe this away. This does make your lips nice and smoothing after it's all said and done. Then we're going to go in with this bad boy. This is like my favorite little lip mask. It's from Wet n Wild. They had two flavors. I think one was like a mint or something. I was not drawn to it. And this one's lavender. I like it because it's just so thick. You know what I mean? Like, but if I put it on too thick, I notice it's still there the next morning. And I don't really like that. So I try not to do too much like that. I'll do my entire look. Just kind of just lather it. Not like you let it gloss or anything because you're really wanting to get everything. Yeah, see? Such a pretty shine. See that? It's hard to tell because of this lighting in here, but you see that? And it's just so nice. I love this one. I was kind of tempted to try the other kind because I'm literally almost out. Like I have a tiny little bit left and I'm like, good God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? But yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me in this little get unready with me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little skincare minus all the little bees. I mean, like a little recap. My cellar gel, love this. I feel like I'm going to get so much use out of this. Like, um, and this wasn't really that expensive. I want to say they were like 15 a piece or something like that. Um, and you get, you get 3.4 full ounces out of it. Or fluid ounces or whatever so I mean and I only use a tiny little bit and they got my whole face but of course I didn't have a full face I just had you know my brows and my eyes done so I mean I would definitely keep you guys updated in the um, description box when I do a full face but I don't do full faces a lot here lately besides my channel because you can't go nowhere you know because you have to wear a mask everywhere but that's a whole nother story but I really do love this definitely with the price and I'll probably buy another one this, on the other hand, I'm not the hugest fan. I'll have to try this again maybe next week when I have my towels clean and see if that makes a difference. If not, I probably won't use much of it. I just hate to have all that beads and stuff just there and you have to wash it over and over and over and it's just so repetitive and I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Okay guys, so that is everything. I hope you guys have a sleep-filled night and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.